Hello everyone, Heinlein here and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial I will go through air-to-air -air gunnery in the F5. If you haven't watched my earlier video on uh, the radar in the F5, I recommend you do that. It's a lot, it's a lot of useful information in that video. Before we get uh, started, uh, I'm going to show you a few key bindings that I are going into use. If you haven't uh, watched uh, my first video in this series on the radar, I recommend you see this to get uh, a more elaborate uh, uh, view on the key mapping. But uh, this is a short recap. We're going to use the target designator button, like so. Up, down, left and right. Target acquisition button, like so. And we're going to bind the dogfight aft, the, uh, this one. Dogfight aft, DG, that means for dogfight gunnery. And we're going to have the bind uh, uh, center for resume search. That is to uh, reset the radar. And you can also uh, uh, bind this one, uh, dogfight forward. Uh, we're not going to use this in uh, this uh, lection, uh, lesson, but uh, it's you should do it. All right, let's get back. The F5 is armed with 2 times M39 20mm autocannons. They carry 280 rounds each and they're firing uh, roughly 1600 rounds uh, a minute uh, once you push the trigger. So we don't have many uh, seconds of ammunition. Just like uh, with the missiles you can uh, fire the, the gun in two different modes with or without the aid of the radar. We're going first. To, I'm going first to show you uh, how to uh, use the guns without uh, the radar, and uh, then we're going to show you how to use them with the radar afterwards. So let's uh, unpause here, and uh, just like uh, my air-to-air -air missiles tutorial, we're going to target our bomber in front of us here, right here. So let's unpause. <coughs> Unlike with missiles, you don't have to arm any stations. You only have to flip the master switch, like so. And just like uh, with for using IR guided missiles without the radar, this is a method that is good when you want to surprise the target. Oh, I forgot to tell you one more thing. Remember to set the gun sight to gun, like so. A1 gun is uh, A1 or A2. Let's just pause for a second. The A1 I normally use uh, when uh, I'm using the radar to guide me. But right now I'm not doing that, so I'm going to switch, uh, flip it to A2. Let's on pause again. Like so. The main difference is that uh, the pipper stands still, so uh, you will see. Now I have it in A1, you can see that the pipper is moving. And now it's in A2, and it's much more uh, stagnant. Okay, now he's flaring and trying to get away. That's... Oh, this rare gunner is firing at me. And he's going down. Not the best shooting, but uh, you get the point. So that is how you can use the guns without uh, the radar. But uh, let's uh, restart the mission and let uh, me show you how to use it with the radar. Alright, now we're back. Now we're going to uh, attack the bomber one more time. Let's see how we can use the radar. So let's, uh, oops, let's uh, reduce the range a bit to 5 and turn the radar on, like so. And there he is. Just like with missiles, we can use the target designator switch, get a move it over and press uh, target acquisition, like so. Now it's locked on. And he's already taking evasive maneuvers. Let's uh, reset the radar, like so. And we're going to use uh, the dogfight uh, button, which is what you're going to use if you are in a real dogfight with a uh, fighter. All right, and of course, don't forget to change the sights to A1, like so. And let's press aft. Now we're locked on, but we're not in range yet. Let's move, get in closer.
let's just uh, pause there. And what we can take from uh, the HUD right now is that uh, uh, we are not in range yet because we do not have the inner range uh, uh, indication up here. And we can see that the range indicator is going to move uh, move uh, inward. So let's try to get in a range and maneuver ourselves up for a shot. Okay, right now. Oh. And splash one bomber. So that is uh, how you use uh, the cannons in air-to-air -air mode. I hope it was useful and that you learned something. Uh, post a comment down uh, below if you have a question. And uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.